Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off with my brows. So I'm just gonna take a little spoolie brush and brush my brows here. And then I am going to make them glittery eventually. But to start off, I'm gonna use a dark blue eyeliner just to give my glittery stuff something to stick to. So I'm gonna be using the Sephora Outrageous Intense Waterproof Gel Liner. And then I have my Brow Gal Brow Brush thingy. It's just a small angled brush. And I'm basically just gonna fill in my brows kind of how I normally do. Okay, so now I am going to go over them with the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Into the Blue. And it's this really pretty blue purpley glittery shade. And I just open it up and then take a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'll use that with the same brush that I used to fill in my brows and I'll just go over it with the glitter. Okay, so now we're done with the brows and we're going to go in with the eyeshadow. So first off, I'm going to prime all over my eyelids with the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Priming Potion in the shade Eden. And then I'm just gonna go in with a bunch of different blues and silvers and all kinds of fun stuff. I'm gonna start off with this color right here in the top left of the palette it's just a white kind of shimmery shade and I'm gonna just take that same concealer brush that I used to blend out the primer and then I'm just gonna put that basically right at the highest point of where you can see the primer and that's kind of gonna be my transition shade for this icy kind of look so next I am going to use my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and I am going to take the shade Zola and put that just below where I just put that white shimmery shade. Okay, next I'm just gonna take the same fluffy blending brush I just used and I am going to take the shade Dahlia from the Masquerade palette. And with each shade I'm just going a little bit lower on my eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch back over to the Morphe 35V palette, and I'm going to take this navy blue shade right here. And I'm gonna be using my Sigma E44 Firm Blender Brush, and I'm just gonna like tap it in to get it just on the point, and then I'm gonna use that to kinda define my crease some. Next, I'm gonna take my Sigma E57 brush, and I'm going to be using the black color from the 35V palette. And I'm just getting it on the very tip of the brush, and then using that to darken up the crease a little bit more. Okay, now I know it looks kinda crazy right now, but we're gonna kinda work in reverse and go back over with the colors we already used and then blend all of this together. So I'm gonna go back in with that um, navy blue shade and just kind of go right over where I put that black just to kind of soften it out a little bit and then back in with my fluffy brush and Dahlia and then I'm gonna finish it out with Zola and then actually I'm gonna go back in with that white shimmery shade from the 35B palette too just right on top now for the fun and hopefully not very struggly part, we are gonna cut the crease. To cut my crease, I am going to be using the Pat McGrath Metamorphosis Cream Shadow in the color silver. And I'm gonna use the C469 Precision Concealer Brush from Crown Brushes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over it with the powder version of the silver from the Pat McGrath Metamorphosis Kit just to kind of set that cream in place. Okay, so for liner, I'm gonna basically do the same thing I did for my eyebrows and I'm gonna start with the Sephora Gel Liner in the navy blue and then go over it with the Stila Glitter and Glow in into the blue.
Okay, so that's basically it for the eyes right now. Um, I'm gonna come back and do a couple of little finishing touches, but for now, I'm going to move on to the face. Okay, so for the face, I just didn't have it in me to do a whole face paint, white, blue, whatever. I just didn't want to do it. I usually do, I know that's my go-to, but I just, I didn't have it in me. So, I'm gonna kinda do a little half and half kind of deal. We'll see what's gonna happen here. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna start off by priming my face with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. And I'm mainly just gonna focus it right in the center of my face because I'm gonna have like some white, icy looking stuff on the perimeter. So I'm gonna focus my foundation mainly on the center of my face. So next I am going to take my Mayron Cream Blend Stick in the color white and I'm pretty much gonna go all around the perimeter of my face, everywhere where I didn't just put foundation. And then I'm gonna take my Mayron Paradise Makeup AQ841 brush and kind of blend that in. Okay, so now that we kind of have a base, I'm just gonna use my brush and just kind of touch the tip on the stick. And then I'm just gonna make kind of like stray lines just to look like an icy, like I'm kind of like I'm freezing basically. Which there's no real rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna go back over that and then just kind of make some lines. Okay, so now I am going to take the Cover FX Glitter Drops in the color Lunar. I'm just gonna put like a little drop of it on the back of my hand and touch my brush in it, and then kind of go back and make some more of those little strokes just to give myself a more icy, glittery kind of look. And then I'm gonna bring it down my neck a little bit too and just basically do the same thing I did on my face. Okay, so now I'm going to finish up my eyes. So for my under eyes, I'm basically gonna use most of the colors I used on the top and just kind of reverse them on the bottom. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of that black and then go into the navy blue shadow that we used and then the brighter blues towards the inner corner. Then I'm gonna pop just a little bit of that Pat McGrath um, cream in the center, like my inner tear duct here. 
And then for my lashes, because I'm kind of a dummy and I forgot my lashes at home, I'm just gonna try to make them white with the Mayron um, cream paint that I use all over my face. And I'm just gonna take it on a spoolie and then just kind of run it over my lash just to give them a little bit of white color. Okay, so for my lips, I am going to basically do the same thing I did for my liner and my brows. So I'm gonna start off with that Sephora gel liner and then go back over it with the glitter. Okay, so this is my final look for today for our ice queen. So I made the crown and I figured a nice flowy wig would be good. And yeah, so this is my final look. I really, really like this um, look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to also hit that subscribe button. Um, it's not Halloween yet. We've got three, four, I don't know, some more costumes coming. You're not gonna wanna miss them. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications because duh, you're not gonna wanna miss out. You need a costume for vacation, come on. All of those Halloween parties and bar crawls and that, you're gonna need something. So come hang out with us, get your costume ideas and get your life, duh. Alrighty, that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one, bye.